Hi, I'm here with Naz from Spectec, the provider of the Amos software, and also Dom from ShipServe. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much for your time. Naz, if we could turn to you first, what distinguishes Amos software? And also, which environments are most ideally suited for Amos? At Spectec, we are, um, and our flagship uh, software, Amos, we have over 30 years' experience in the industry. Uh, serving across uh, maritime, uh, oil and gas, uh, cruise and defence. Um, our, uh, our software is highly used by a number of uh, customers. We have around 12,000 or so installations. And what distinguishes us is that we have a solution that provides technical management capabilities, whether that's via management of maintenance, uh, procurement or inventory, uh, uh, coupled with uh, quality and compliance and also the ability to um, uh, provide better fleet management capabilities. So whether you're a small or large organisation, for example, uh, uh, a vessel operator of uh, 80 plus vessels or a small ship owner, we have a platform that en enables you to actually uh, connect to third parties, such as ShipServe, um, into one integrated um, uh, uh, capability. So Don, Spectec and ShipServe have been working together for many years. Could you tell us a little bit about the history of the relationship? ShipServe and Spectec recognized very early on that it would be in our customers' best interest to create a standardized integration that could be easily installed and not be a huge project for the end user. So both companies invested the time and the money in creating that, uh, that integration. Spectec with their e-commerce adapter and ShipServe with our Amos adapter on our MTML link software, which allows that connection to be made in a standardized way. So that when a shipping company makes the decision to hook ShipServe up to the Amos software, all of the hurdles that normally are present in an IT situation are gone, and it's just a question of implementation and training. And over the years, that software linkage has been maintained and updated as both companies have added you know, new capabilities and new features so that it's always a modern and efficient way of communicating between the two platforms. So Naz, you have a lot of customers on your software. ShipServe is a, a plug-in, if you like, into, uh, into Amos. What does that e-commerce plug-in do? What does it add to your customers, do you think? The, the main benefit is it automates that process. So turning a manual process um, to connect to suppliers uh, to send out, say, RFQs or POs, it automates that process. Ultimately, what that does, it provides um, a couple of benefits. Um, those benefits, one of which are transactional benefits, so it reduces the, um, the manual input required to actually connect to suppliers. So you're doing um, more uh, in, in less time. Uh, secondly, it provides the ability to optimization. So optimizing to understand um, connecting to the right supplier uh, at the right time and at the right price. And the third one is around data analytics, understanding which vessels or which uh, FPSOs, if you're using or, or oil rigs, um, are performing well in terms of their data management um, and uh, uh, performance indication between uh, um, uh, vessels. And also, the last thing, the, the main benefit of that, it's, it's in one platform. So you're not going outside of Amos. It's all integrated into one solution. So it's all the data is captured into one place. Now, Don, in terms of the actual process of connection, of, the, of plugging into Amos, how complicated a process is this? I'm happy to say that the, the technical part of connecting the ShipServe and Amos software can be done in just a few hours. The people process around that, the suppliers have to be mapped, users have to be trained, you know, that, can take a, you know, that can take a few days or a few weeks just to get all the pieces in place. But the technical part, the, the two companies have invested uh, in, in this process so that that's extremely easy. And we have worked together now on many integrations, guys, right? Yep. So as you say, Don, this is now a standard project and process. And we're improving all the time. So we've, we've been working here uh, for, for a long period of time. So we're improving as we do uh, connect customers up on, uh, on a regular basis. And we're learning from that if there's any challenges that we face. 
um, and equally making that process a lot more seamless as we go along. So I'd like to give an example of how this cooperation has, has worked extremely well. Recently, we became aware of a new regulation in the EU that relates to custom codes. And one of our common customers needs to have this in order to be able to move forward. And both teams sprang into action, created a joint ad hoc project team, satisfied the requirement, got it signed off on by all parties, and it's going to be ready for implementation in just a few weeks. Now, Naz, can I ask you, what's on the horizon for Amos? What new stuff is in the pipeline? So we're, we've, we've got a roadmap, um, and we're working uh, heavily on our roadmap to deliver uh, uh, new functionality to our customers. Um, uh, our, our functionality is, it has been established, but we want to take it to the next, uh, next stage, and that's around mobility. So we are providing capabilities on mobile applications, as well as providing capabilities on web-enabled uh, uh, devices. So we're moving Amos onto the web, um, and that enables us, to, for example, uh, to have better connectivity to, for data analytics with, say, ShipServe, for example. Uh, but also at the same time, regulation plays a key part. So what we're trying to do is integrate our technical management capabilities into uh, uh, quality and compliance. So having a quality management system linked up to our uh, maintenance, uh, 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 procurement and inventory applications. So Don, same question to you. What's coming along the pipeline for ShipServe that will be of interest for Amos users? Well, let me break that into two pieces. One is that we've had some great recent developments in terms of our reporting and analytics. Uh, just in the last few months, we've released a brand new supplier performance reporting module. And this allows buyers to analyze their relationships with the suppliers and also compare that to industry benchmarks. And so one of the great things that, that we're looking for is to be able to take uh, reports like these and to be able to bring them inside Amos so that the Amos user will be able to, to see everything from within the platform. The second part of this is that we've got some exciting things happening in the areas of invoice processing, logistics, catalogs, and contract management. And we'd like to be able to bring those to the user within Amos as well. Uh, of particular interest is our new partnership with IMPA and to be able to relate supplier catalogs to the IMPA Marine Stores Guide database and once again to be able to bring that to the end user all in one place. Mm -hmm.